Hello Capricorns, this is a reading to see if the person that you were thinking about is coming back towards you in the month of June. <clears throat> if that is something that you guys are indeed interested in. So this reading is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, what is currently going on? for Capricorns. What's currently going on for Capricorns? Let me turn this off. There's some sort of reflection there. Let's see. That's better. Okay. Let me get myself situated here. Alright guys. Let's see. What's currently going on? Capricorn. I see the tower here reverse. I see you trying to fix something, wanting to rectify something here with the tower in reverse. That is Scorpio's energy. Um, the tower, of course, in the upright is about destruction, it's about instability. I, I feel that you're, you're strongly trying to stabilize some situation currently. Okay. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person here? And we have the Three of Cups or the Three of Chalices. I feel like this person may be amongst friends during this time, may be amongst family, but I don't see this person as being involved with anyone. I feel like they spend a lot of their time with other people. It could be in a work situation that's kind of like um, bringing them some joy or bringing them uh, something to do to pass the time. Okay, that's Cancer Energy there. What is Capricorn? want? What is it that Capricorn wants? What does Capricorn want? Let me show me what Capricorn wants. And I see the Nine of Wands. There's something that you want to continue with here, Sagittarius energy. Um, you're trying to restore something so that it can continue forward, I feel. Now, I feel like you guys have been through um, some shit, okay? And it's something that had you really feeling down and out, um, feeling like possibly giving up on it. But there's something that has renewed your interest in a situation. It's like something's being brought back or something's being worked on here and what you're wanting to do is continue to work on that regardless of, of how hard you need to work for it I feel like you guys are at that point where you're willing and you're wanting to do that whatever it takes is what I'm hearing from some of you what's currently what's currently going on what does the other person want what does the other person want what does the other person want and we have the King of Wands here. I feel like this person definitely wants to be in control of whatever happens. They want to be in control of their life, their future. Um, they want to have a say-so. But I feel like this person not only wants to have a say-so, they want to have the last word is what I'm getting from uh, this situation right now and what they want. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Okay, could be a Cancer, Leo. For some of you, what is it that Capricorn needs? What does Capricorn need? Please show me what Capricorn needs. And I see the Seven of Wands here. This is a stand up for what it is that you believe. Okay. I know that you guys are wanting something so badly, but please don't sacrifice yourselves and sacrifice um, uh, just completely just let go of your resolve in this situation to have somebody in your life, okay? Don't compromise yourself. Don't compromise your spirit. You need to stand strong and stand up for what you believe, okay? With this Seven of Wands energy. That is Leo's energy. What is it that the other person needs? What is it that the other person needs? couple of cards want to jump out there. What is it that they need? And I see the two of cups here. 
I feel like this is for them. What they need to do is focus more on the love between the two of you and not so much on wanting to have control of the situation. Um, I feel like there's a need for them to be more loving, be more committed, uh, not try to uh, be in a friend zone with you or just trying not treading lightly. Because I feel like this person is like treading lightly with you and they may make jokes with you, not be too serious with you. But I feel like this, there's a need for them to really show you that they're all in. Again, Cancer Energy there. There's something about them that um, they're holding on to some sort of hurt here. <clears throat> is there anyone else involved for Capricorn? Is there anyone else involved for Capricorn? Is there anyone else involved here for Capricorn? I see a Princess of Pentacles here. Um, I don't really feel like there's anyone else involved. I feel like you guys are more um, to yourself. I feel like you're trying to learn more about yourself and, and, and how to interact with people. Um, this person in particular, I do feel like this person kind of makes you feel not small, but um, I, I feel like there's something about the Seven of Wands energy that you don't have right now. Okay, I feel like this is you like not allowing yourself to fully engage with this person like you normally would. I feel you walking on eggshells a little bit here. I feel you needing to find your voice because somewhere along the line along the way you guys have lost your voice is there someone else involved for the other person is there someone else involved for the other person and we have strength strong Leo energy here in your reading I feel Leo cancer um, could be Virgo I see Scorpio here, I see Sagittarius here, but um, I don't feel like there's anybody else involved for them. I feel like this person, they may be um, exposed to like flirtatious people and people that want to date them, but I feel like they really do care for you. They probably really do want to be with you, um, but that tower energy is there. So, of course, there's something that happened between the two of you guys that um, that just shook this to pieces. Um, it basically tore down the relationship between the two of you, but this person still loves you. Uh, this person has some sort of hurt feelings behind this tower uh, a moment that you guys shared. So I definitely get that at some point they feel like their voice was not heard. Okay. And um, so they're like treading lightly with you. But I don't feel like they're seeing anyone else for sure. I don't, I don't feel like that. And then there's that five of chalices under the bottom of the deck. They're still thinking about something that happened between the two of you. And I can definitely see that here with the three of chalices and the two of chalices, which is also the five of chalices. So it's like, um, I feel like you guys are, you know, at a point where you are able to come together. This person's just not fully ready to jump back into it, but that I feel like they need to. I feel like they need to and I feel like you need to find your voice okay because ignoring a situation is not the best way to um, be able to move forward either if both of you are like being quiet and, and walking on eggshells around each other um, that's that's gonna get you 
back here with the tower at some point because once things build up and you hold them in eventually you're gonna blow your top you know so we don't want to do that let's see is union likely with Capricorn and their person is union likely that's a resounding yes right there a resounding yes that's the ace of Pentacles very much so but here this is what we need to do both of you this is what we need to do we need to talk we need to talk about what each of us needs and we need to show our emotions show how we feel towards each other this can definitely work out stand up for what you believe in if you believe in this love then you have to stand for it but this is both of you though okay so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon